crazy. And actually, now that you brought that up, there is another uh, record I did want to touch on, too, that I think kind of gets overlooked in your catalog. Um, cause kind of, um, kind of cause it correlates, I mean, with what's, I mean, this shit's been going on forever, but it, it correlates with kind of the media attention that's been garnered around it since like, you know, the Floyd situation and stuff. But, uh, what about time for us to defend ourselves? You know what I mean? Like what was, uh, like what kind of what went to the process of making that record? The police killed my friend. Really? Yeah, they killed my friend, Richard Luke. The oh, guy wow. I'm talking about in the song was my friend. Oh, man. And what fucked them up is because they couldn't sweep that shit under the rug because Richard Luke had a friend like MC Chan that could bring major national attention to this shit right here. Al Sharpton was in Queensbridge for that one. Wow, you man. You know what I'm saying? But the police killed Luke. He was having pains in his chest. You ain't got to go to with the ambulance come and the police say, yo, you got to go with us. If you tell them no, they'll make you sign that form to say you refuse motherfucking treatment. And that leaves them unliable for leaving a person that may or may not motherfucking die. Instead of them getting him help because he was having an asthma attack, the motherfucking police decide they're going to flip him up and do whatever. And it was one particular cop named Robocop trying to make strike for itself. There's one silly sucker called Robocop. Yeah. The media skip right past it. Robocop just as put Rich in his casket. That motherfucker hated me. But those police knew they couldn't do shit to me. I was too fucking publicized. I wasn't just no drug dealer that they could take up in the building and rough up and throw me over the motherfucking river park fence into the water. None of that shit. So they was mad at me. And then when I did the video, ain't nobody ever drove no cars in the middle of 12th Street, had big ass trailers homes where motherfucking my dressing room was on my motherfucking block. They never seen that shit. I had a fake police car on the fucking block with police that was fake. They hated me. They couldn't do shit. But this is what I'm saying. That record I made 30 years ago, you think I would have made it yesterday? That's why right. This shit's as relevant today as ever. You know what I mean? Like, Which means what? Nothing happened. Shit is still the same. What the fuck? <laughs> Which is fucked up, but man, I gotta commend you. Like, I had no idea that, um, you know, that that it was actually that literally, like, you know, your boy, and like for you to, for you to come out as, you know, like, uh, you know, an, an like an international recording artist and make a specific song, like even naming Robocop in the joint and stuff, and like making a stance like that, like that's a stance that I can't say many artists, even like cats that you would call so called, um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, conscious or whatever. Like I, I, I can't think of many, um, if any, parallels of artists who have been that blunt, bold, and direct to make such a powerful statement like that. Now, that's, let me tell you something. That's crazy. At one point, even police fucking respected rap motherfuckers. When they pulled you, they ain't like the shit out of me. But before that incident, and motherfuckers, I didn't have a license. I used to drive my car, and I, I, I what my license was, I kept an album cover in my motherfucking dog compartment. <laughs> At this point, remember, when I came up, it maybe was 25 of us, not 25 million like they are now. And they all saying that shit. So when they arrest a rapper or shoot a rapper nowadays, they think it's justified because fuck that. He said this on the record. But in my yeah. day, hell no. They gave us mad respect. So when I get pulled over and I pull out a record, one day I was driving up to up north with, to, to bring my girl a TV. She was at college. Yeah. Police pulled me over. And I was in some old hick fucking country town going towards 090 New York with TVs and all kind of shit still in the box in the back of my Jeep. Motherfucker said, your license and registration. I said, oh, so I don't have one, but I do have this. 
I handed him my album cover. He said, hey, Frank, we pulled over a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. Said what they had to say, whatever, safe travels, my friend. Go ahead about your business. That's fucking not, awesome. Man. That's awesome. Not a Do problem you know about it. And now imagine this. Remember, my truck had insurance because it was in somebody else's name. Yeah. But I had no license. No fucking license at all. I wasn't permitted to drive without a fucking piece of paper that said I could. Yeah. And they fucking let me go. I just showed them a fucking album cover. <laughs> Do you know what's funny about you saying that too? I mean, this is this is um, you know, I don't like to bring things back to me in an interview, um, uh, but it just I just find it funny because of how much it actually kind of coincides with it. But um, in a verse I literally dropped maybe two, maybe a month and a half ago, I had a line in it where I said, um, I antagonize police till they're using their weapon. They ask me for ID, I tell them Google me, brethren. And it's like it's it's, just, it's like the modern day version of giving a cop your album. You know what I mean? Right. Like there you go. But see, they're gonna say fuck you and your Google nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No better turn that live up, but... stream off. Better turn that live stream off. I bust your ass a little more. Yeah, yeah. We don't want no motherfucking evidence except for my motherfucking police cam. Fuck your live, nigga. We gonna turn your shit off. Yeah. My camera can always fucking malfunction, but your shit, turn that shit off now. Yeah. You're yeah. impeding my you're impeding my investigation. <laughs> They'll use any shit, man. They'll use any shit to get, you know. That shit's nasty, bro. And actually, with that being said, too, you know, um, I think I th we'll probably close it off with this, you know, and I would love to have you back on the show again in the future if you're open to it. You know, conversation. Hey, hey, up, man. Stop back a stupid. What the fuck wrong with you? Always enjoyable talking to you, my man. <laughs> um, <coughs> for the one on a track, two blunts in a sack, three bundles of crack, so in the Starting to wild up, fuck these bird motherfuckers make the flock of them fly so I got a lot of clout, got a lot of props from how I walk, what I talk about, what I talk about. It's my check, come on, it's two step, come on. It don't matter what set it, who you rap, come on. Go with my mind, on my money, hear my money, on my mind. I get mine, I get mine, I get mine, I get mine. <laughs>